All right, welcome back to Frog Detective. This will be part three. We have still the left side of town to investigate. And hopefully we will find the ladder for the well. And finally go to the cemetery. That's the initial preliminary plan. But we'll see what happens. Hey, let's see, a cow and some worms. If you're here from the Evil Secret Society, please leave me alone. I'm not interested in joining. Okay, so there's an Evil Secret Society in town. What's the Evil Secret Society? Nice try, I know the society's tricks. Well, I'm actually here from the Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Oh yeah, Where's your, where are your credentials? Uh, well, I'm a detective and a frog and I'm here to solve a mystery slash possible crime. Do you have any identification? Just my face. Do you have any identification? No, but I'm Craig. Everybody knows me. I wouldn't normally believe you, but your appearance does seem to match what you're saying. But just know, I don't trust you. Wouldn't expect you to. We just met. Detective, I'm someone that that is regularly messed with. There are many different societies around here, and they all want me to join. But I'm a lone ranger. I have no interest in being part of a secret societies. What types of secret societies are there? For starters, you've got the naughty little guys. They've been after me for years. The posties are another one. They go around delivering mail. Well, you should be in that one. You seem to be working in the mail post office. I'm sure that's a secret to say. I think it's more of a public service. Yeah. Then why can't we open everybody's mail? Not so public if you ask me. Mm hmm. <laughs> open your eyes. Another society is the Ghost Spotters League. Oh wait, I think I've heard of them. Yeah, despite being a secret society, they're quite well known. To be honest with you, I said earlier that I wasn't interested in being part of any society, but that's only half true. Nobody wants you. Oh? The Ghost Bars League is really exclusive and I'm kinda bummed they never tried to recruit me. Are you keen on ghost spotters? Well, that might be the problem. To be inducted to the league, you need to have spotted a ghost. And you haven't seen any? Correct. I don't know why I'm telling you all of this. You could be... You could be anyone. I'm the detective. It's a compelling disguise, I'll give you that. Do you know much about ghosts? Well, I solved a mystery involving one. I solved the mystery. Yeah, okay. The mystery of the haunted island. I guess that's one of the previous parts that I haven't played. Although, it wasn't haunted in the end. So no. Could have saved us both time and just said no. Sorry, no, I don't know much about ghosts. Can I ask you some questions? Everybody always wants information from me. Well, you work in a post office, man. I don't suppose there's a secret society that is dedicated to stealing hats. Not that I'm aware of. But there, that's, that's the thing, detective. 
These societies run deep. I've barely scratched the surface of what there is to know. They run everything, everywhere. You, everywhere you've ever been, anything you've ever done. It's all dictated by the secret societies. Surely that can't be true? You'd think not, but it is true. How do you know it's true? I'm part of several forums dedicated to uncovering the truth. Is it a secret forum? What? Haha, -ha, like, is it also a secret society? <laughs> I'll have to look into it. I'm just joking. And see how you can joke about something like this. Secret societies run everything. Craig, I just don't think that's true. Oh yeah, what evidence do you have that it's not true? Well, I shouldn't be forced to prove that something is not true. I mean, you have to prove that it is true. None, I suppose. Just the lack of evidence of is it of it being true. I would say it's more like lack of evidence of it not being true. Mm -hmm. Agree to disagree. And agree to be right and you agree to be wrong. Yeah, I kind of dislike this person. <laughs> okay, sure. How close are you to spotting a ghost? What kind of question is that? How am I supposed to know? Ghosts aren't cool bugs, detective. You can't just spot them out and about. How does it work then? Well, the requirements are pretty flexible. Basically, the society just needs a credible ghost sighting story or a tangible proof of a ghost, like a photo. Do ghosts show up in photos? It depends, but yeah. The saloon has a bunch of photos, but I don't want to send in the wrong one and embarrass myself. I don't know which ones are of ghosts and which ones are just normal photos. Hmm, sounds like a bit of a puzzle. It's so strict. If I get my application denied three times, I'm banned from ever applying again. I'm on my second strike. What did you send in the first two times? I faked the first two sightings. I dressed up as a ghost and ran really fast so I looked like a blur in the photograph. They're so clever that they figured me out right away. That's how I know they're the real deal. I like your creativity though. Thanks. Say, if you happen to stop by the saloon, could you take a look and see if you can tell which of the photos has a ghost in it? I don't really care about actually sparring a ghost myself, I just want to be part of the society. I suppose that's fair enough, sure. I have time, I'll, if I have the time, I'll have a look. Thanks! Seriously, no one is giving me anything. I want a ladder and a fake ID. Yeah, hat stealing society maybe. Conspiracy theories or knows way more about the world than me. Does not buy me my detective disguise. Drat. Just want to be part of something. Okay. Letters. I want one. Can I please buy these carrots? 
Do you have money? No. Then you cannot buy these cards. Quite reasonable. Good afternoon, welcome to Cowboy County General Store. My name is Wendy. We have a wide range of general goods for purchase. Hi, I'm the detective. Unfortunately, at this time we do not stock any gear for detective work. I don't need anything. Oh, um, please feel free to browse our expansive selection. I'm sure you find, find what you need. No, thank you. We have a wide, wide range of general goods for purchase. Yes. Do you need a specific item that isn't in stock? We process special orders at no extra cost to the customer. I don't really need anything. You need the ladder. Special orders have an average two day turnaround. That's a great turnaround. Is one of our many great policies, such as we are proud to offer our customer a satisfaction guarantee on all purchases. What is a satisfaction guarantee? We can guarantee that you will be either satisfied or dissatisfied with your purchase. Yeah, well, everyone can do that. <laughs> what happens if I'm dissatisfied? That falls in within our satisfaction guarantee. So I can get a refund? That's a satisfaction guarantee, only guarantees a range of satisfaction from dissatisfied to satisfied. That's a weird sentence. If your feeling towards the product doesn't fall within that range, you are entitled to a refund. Well, everything fall with, falls within that range. That clears it up, thanks. Anyway, I'm actually here to ask some questions about the case. Unfortunately, we do not have cases in stock at this time. The mystery, I mean, of the stolen hats. Stealing is not permitted at Cowboy County General Store. It's not permitted anywhere, really. To be clear, I'm not here to purchase or steal any items from your store. I'm here on official business to solve the mystery of the stolen hats here in Cowboy County. Right. It would have been a lot easier for me if you'd said that in the first place. Well, you haven't been easy either. I feel like I just spent so much time explaining the policies and values of my store. And a bit embarrassing for me, really, like... Maybe in the future just tell people what you're here for. Yes, absolutely right. I'm not good at communicating quickly. I get easily swept up in conversation. Sorry. It's fine. I just feel a bit self-conscious. No, no, you did great. I learned a lot about your store policies. I'm glad to hear that. It hasn't been easy taking over the shop. Seem like an old hand at it. Ha! That's great. I'm not at all. I've only been running this shop for seven months. Oh, cool. Can I ask you some questions? So, you just started running the shop. How is it all going? I wish I could say I'm nailing it, but... It's honestly doesn't feel like that most of the time. That's no good. The shop has been in my family for generations. I thought in my hands it would be the best it's ever been. It's just kinda the same. The same is good. At least it's not worse than it was. I suppose you're right. Is there anything that would boost your confidence? Well, there is one thing. What is it? Do you see these portraits on the wall? They're lovely. Every shop owner in my family has had a beautiful portrait created of them, except for me. Mine is just a silly photo. <laughs> it's a nice photo. Yeah, sure, but it's not the same. 
haven't got the slightest idea how I'm supposed to get someone to create a beautiful portrait. I don't even know who painted those ones. Have you tried painting one yourself? With what time? And besides, art was never my strong suit. Maybe you could paint it for me. Ha, you wish. I'm not much of a painter. Well, if you find anyone that wants to paint me, can you let me know? How are they supposed to know if they want to paint you if they can't see you? Hmm. Here, take this photo of me. Haha, <laughs> okay, kinda weird. What's weird? Just carrying a photo of you. On the off chance that I find a painter who can paint you a portrait. I don't think that's weird. Okay, sorry. That is super weird. Doesn't say who painted them. Oh, this guy can paint. seem like an outlaw. I sit and ponder, detective. Is this the theft a bad thing? Perhaps. But who are we to determine good and bad? A stolen hat is a message. Do not let yourself be shielded. The light of the sun holds more answers than we think. Answers to what? Questions. What questions? Why is it so bright out, bright out here? How do I charge the solar powered bubble head? And more, I'm certain of it. I've spent so much time focused on how to find the missing hats and no time considering why we had had them in the first place. You're a suspect now. I would assume for sun protection. Protection from the sun? What harm does the sun pose to us? The sun can be bad for your skin. If I stay in the sun too long, my skin goes all crispy. I turn into a crispy fried snack. Is being crispy wrong, detective? It's wrong for me. Who are we to determine wrong and right? Well, I'm the frog detective, and I'm just a lovely poet trying to make sense of the world. It's nice to meet you, and you. You sure think a lot about things, huh? I try, but I think I get it wrong a lot of the time. Who are we to, to, de to determine right, wrong and right? <laughs> I turned it around. Ha ha! Ha ha! If you don't mind me saying, you don't look too much like a cowboy. Oh, I'm not a cowboy, I'm Dusty. I'm an outlaw slash poet. I'm trying to compose the perfect cowboy poem. It's taking forever. I'm no good at this. But you have so much to say. Yes, but when I write it down, it gets so muddled. Nothing comes out right. I'm sure it sounds great. It doesn't. I'm ashamed to even show anyone. You can show me, I won't judge. Hmm, okay. <clears throat> A 
Cowboy's life is so much fun sitting around on your bum. Ride a scooter, sing a tune, say yeehaw in the afternoon. The sun is bright, their smiles shine brighter when waving at this lonely writer. I give a nod and a smile back too, yet I wish I could be someone new. An outlaw's life is not for me, I want to ride and be carefree. Instead I sit and write stuff down, not fitting in with this cowboy town. Wasn't that bad? Rhymed? It's, be it's beautiful. I would say that's the perfect cowboy poem. Thanks, but I think I want to write a new one. Do you mind if I ask some questions about the case? Go ahead. Do you need help workshopping a perfect cowboy poem? It, I would love that. Nobody here really gets me. You know? Totally. I'll show you what I have so far and maybe you can help me finish it? Sure. Mm -hmm. I saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal. From his sack. Nice. I saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal from his sack. He finished quickly, smart and sure, then headed off to get some more, of course. To get some more. He finished quickly, smart and sure, then headed off to get some more. But just ahead, to his shock, I mean, this one sounds best again, it's always the middle one. There was Nessie from the lock. Um, okay, sure. But just ahead to his shock, there was Nessie from the lock. He waddled over, concentrated face, only to discover a tumbleweed in its place. Oh, plot twist, okay. He waddled over a concentrated face only to discover a tumbleweed in its place. The cowboy smiled and shook his head and off he went back to bed. Yeah, he was dreaming. It was all a dream. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, detective. It wasn't a problem at all. I had lots of fun. I feel like I understand the cowboy life a bit better now. Maybe one day I feel confident enough to become one myself. I wish you the best of luck. Thanks. Hey, since I've written the perfect poem, I don't need the writing supplies anymore. Really? You don't want to write any more poems? No, no, I do. But every time I start a new project, I like to use new tools. So I don't take the energy of the old poem with me. Sounds expensive. Yeah. Anyway, take them. Okay, maybe we can trade this for something else until we get a ladder and a fake ID. Dusty. Motive. Wanted to absorb the cowboy's powers. Yeah, maybe. Just someone to talk to, I think. We've done that. We fixed his needs. Paint for me, please. Pistol. Well, if it isn't the frog of the hour, maybe the frog of one and a half hours, if we're being generous. 45 minutes if you're speedy. 
Haha, well, you get what I mean. It's good to see you, detective. Have we met? Not in person, no. I've sent you several emails asking to illustrate your frog blog. <laughs> oh, you must be Pistol. That's me, finest artist in all of the Cabo County and potentially the world. Yeah, you mentioned that many times in your emails. It's a shame we haven't been able to work together. Your stories come to me so visually. I would love to illustrate them. I'd love that too, but paint me a portrait. Let's do this now. Unfortunately, I do not have a million money to pay you with. It's actually two million money. Yes, yes, sorry. It's no matter, detective. Simply keeping, keep saving up and you will be able to afford my work one day. I'll do that. Are you working on something at the moment? Yes, my finest piece yet. It's an... Uh, well, you see, it's clearly a cactus with a hat. Who am I kidding, detective? I lost my artistic touch. I'm sure it's just a bit of creative block. Creative block? No. I clicked on a banner on cyberspace and it took me to a strange website. What did the banner say? Click here for an epic video of a worm who is buff. You were right to click it. Yeah, actually, yeah. When it loaded, it was just a scary picture of a witch. Uh-huh. Made a loud cackling noise and the screen just said, you just got a curse on you from this website. Ever since then, I have lost my artistic talents. That's terrible. What did that, when did that happen? Earlier today. I don't mean to doubt you, but are you sure it wasn't just a prank? Prank? I don't think so. That witch was really scary and I'm normally very brave. Did the website have any specifics about the curse? No. Well, how do you know the curse is on your artistic talents? It's been three hours and I haven't found my latest news. Given the portrait, come on. A muse? You know, a subject that piques my interest. Every day I find one and today I haven't seen anything that inspires me. Hmm, can I ask you some questions? Go ahead. You mentioned needing a muse. I'm cursed to never have one. It's only been a few hours, one might show up. I doubt it. I think it's the end of my painting career. Don't give up now. What if I could help you find a muse? You want to help me? I would love to. Let me think. Maybe you could draw me? I have no interest in drawing you. Hey, you said you wanted to draw for my blog. That sounds, that's understandable. Hmm. If you can find me a photograph of something compelling to draw, I would be very grateful. I have one. I think that might be too much of a challenge. Nothing is too much of a challenge for me. What about putting on a hat? No comment. Your head is a weird shape. I know this. I get to work finding a photograph for you to draw. Thank you, detective. I wish you the best of luck. I found a photograph for you to paint. Oh, can I see? Here you go. Wow, this is beautiful. Is this Wendy from the store? Sure is. It would be my absolute pleasure to paint this. I did it. What? I lifted the witch's curse. I mean, I guess. It seems like it was probably... Uh, shut up. <laughs> I thought you said it was scary. I don't think I said that. 
I'm really brave. Doesn't seem like something I'd say. Right. I must be mistaken. It's okay. We all make mistakes. But not me so much. Oh my god. So arrogant. So. Will this work as your new muse? Absolutely. Stay right there. I'm gonna paint it immediately. Nice. I give this to her. Get a ladder. Go to the well. Wow, it's beautiful. Thank you. I'm so proud of it. What are you going to do with it now? Give it to me, please. Oh, this is just a warm-up for me. You can keep this portrait if you like. Really? Yeah. I'll throw it out. I don't mind. I'm just happy I got my talent back. The talent was inside you all along. No, it wasn't. Okay. No, we're not done. We had one more question. Can you tell me about more about the curse, that website you visited? I don't know what more there is to say. I want to see a video of a buff worm and I was tricked, fooled. Cyberspace can be a really troubling place. Nobody warned me. On the bright side, I clicked on a banner that said I was the thousands visitor and I won a hundred thousand money. What? Really? Yeah. You have the money? They just asked for my banking information and I gave it to them. You did what? Relax, how else? How else was I gonna get my prize money? That seems really dangerous. You're just jealous because I won a hundred thousand money. It's already there in my bank account. Really? You checked? Yes. I bought this new outfit with my winnings. Wow, I'm sorry for doubting you. It's fine. I guess I'll always click on those banners from now on. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. And we're done with the panda. Where's the ghost? I don't see any ghost in any of them. Bonnie. Afternoon, detective. What can I get for you? Oh, nothing for me, thanks. I'm here on official business. Ah, hear about the hats. I must look like a heck of a suspect. Yeah, you're wearing a hat. Why is that? I'm the only resident of Kaiba County without a hat. Well, what's that then? I mean, until now. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty suspicious of me. I could have stolen them all out of jealousy. And cooked them up in my stew. Haha! -ha! Did you steal the hats and cook them up in your stew? Oh, she might give me a stew in the end. I can give to lobster. You bet. Oh, everyone come get your hats too. Ha ha. I'm just pulling your leg, detective. I'm a jokester. They call me Bantering Bonnie around here. That's a nice nickname. Pfft. I'm literally joking. Ha ha ha. They just call me Bonnie. I made that up. Oh, ha ha ha. Now you're getting it. I'm full of jokes. Yeah, I get it now. Uh, anyway, you mentioned that you don't wear a hat. Why not? My head is a weird shape. Ah, Pfft. 
Ha ha ha, I'm literally joking. My head is completely normal. Oh, ha ha. Mine too. <laughs> that sounded sad. <laughs> I just don't like the way hats look with my dress. Plus, I'm inside most of the time, so why bother? It's not a suspicious thing, lol. Okay, lol. Hey, detective. Yeah, I know a lot about Cowboy County. I know it all. Why are we yelling? It's a joke, lol. Is it okay if I talk normally? Yes, but it was just a joke. Okay. Anyway, as I was saying, my job here isn't just to run the saloon, I'm also a keen historian for Cowboy County. Despite my hilarious nature, I take the role very seriously. For example, did you know the graveyard up on the hill is gravely haunted? Haha, -ha, gravely. Sorry. Come on, that was the only real joke. It's gravely haunted. Graveyard. Yeah, that's what I said. I have tons of stories and photographs from the haunted hill. You can check them out if you want. Sure will, thanks. LOL. I just got the grave gravely thing. Ha ha. Ha ha. Can I ask you some questions about the case? Do you know much about the photos here in the saloon? Ha ha, legend says it's they're haunted. I don't know if I believe it, but you're welcome to take a look at them and I'll tell you what I know. Sure, thanks. Hats do. You didn't actually make a hat stew, did you? Of course not. Gross. I'm making stew though. It's the only way I can think of to get the regular customers back. Where did they go? Oh, they're around, but I think they got a bit scared off. Scared off. Do you have bandits in the saloon? LOL, I wish. It's worse. Artists. Artists? Creative types. That doesn't sound scary at all. No, but no. You're right. It just changes the vibe. They hang around all day creating things and vi finding themselves. I miss the rootin' tootin' cowboy bootin' times we used to have. You're not a fan of art? I like the cartoon sections of the newspaper, if that counts. Sure. You just want everyone to party a bit more, right? Right. Get them to stop taking themselves so seriously. So your solution is to... Hats to... I'm joking. Sorry, I'm still learning about jokes. It's just a normal stew, but I'm famous for it around here. Lure them here with the stew, keep them here with the party atmosphere. Sounds like a great plan. Maybe I can send the lobster here so he can get his stew. I don't have enough ingredients though. Okay, I need to get ingredients for her. Say, could you buy me some carrots? I'll give you the cash. Yeah, I can do that. Oh, and around these parts, there are really delicious edible cactus flowers. Could you collect four for me? I guess so. I'll give you as much too as you want in return. Sounds like a good deal. Can I ask you some questions about the case? No questions. Tell me about the pictures now. Money? Bonnie. Motive. Practical joke, perhaps. Yeah, maybe. Carrots and cactus flowers. Notes. She's joking. Allegedly, he doesn't wear a hat, but appears to be wearing a hat of some sort. Tell me about this one. I don't see a ghost. This one is standing in front of a, of a graveyard. That's totally haunted behavior. Or maybe she's mourning. Did you ever think of that? She's smiling. And why is she smiling? Yeah, good point. Actually, I know who that is. 
had Betsy, one of the first shop owners here in Cowboy County. She sold all these gravestones to residents of the town. I suspect that's why she had such a big smile on her face, yeah. A smile of clever businesswoman. Not haunted. Not haunted, okay, thanks. This one is also smiling. Is this a ghost? Who? Mark? Ha ha ha! Nah, I wish Mark was a ghost. What? That didn't come out right, lol. That's my ex-husband. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Why did you get divorced? Seems like a pretty personal question. My bad. Bahahaha. -ha. I'm just kidding, he's not really my ex-husband. I actually don't know who that is, but I call I call him Mark. I think that floor is over 50 years old. Take my word for it though, that's not a haunted photo. It has nice energy. Yeah, it looks like a circus or something and he's smiling. Okay. This one might be haunted. This one is super spooky. Surely it has to be a ghost photo. That's all snappy fresh. He was one of the original gold miners here in town about a hundred years ago. Wow! It's old and creepy. It totally fits the description I'm looking for. Yeah, well, you're out of luck. Oh? Oh, snappy fresh is still alive. How could he be... How could he be a ghost? Still alive? How old is he? It's impolite to ask an old person's age. He's 130. How do you know? I asked. Coincidentally, that's how I learned it was rude to ask someone's age. Okay, thanks. Where is he? Where can I find him? This guy looks happy too. Oh, I like this one. I hope it's not haunted. Bad luck, detective. This is one of the most haunted photos of all. She's gonna laugh and say it's a joke. Ah, why? Legend has it, has it, this rabbit was a real mean guy. He would put banana peels out for people to trip on. Give people wedges, you name it. Whoa, that's horrible. Yeah. Wait. Sorry, I'm thinking of someone else. How embarrassing. No, yeah, this guy was the sheriff about 80 years ago. A great sheriff, loved by all. So, not haunted. Nope, sorry. All good. And there's just a dog in the wind. Is this a ghost? Ha! I doubt it. That's a photo of a visitor from about a year ago. He came and changed all the colors in Cowboy County. It was really weird and messy. Fun though. And they're still alive? Sure hope so. Thanks. What's going on? haunted right <laughs> wait was this one here before I don't remember it has such a strange energy to it yeah I suddenly feel really chilly when looking at it he's handsome yet cold like he's seen too much a man who has lived a thousand lives it's a kindness to him but also a great mystery funny Yes, detective. I think this is a haunted photo. I think you might well be right. May I take it? Please do. I'd be glad to get be rid of it. Nice. Now we have one more thing.
Give me the carrots. <laughs> Thanks. Yay. And I have your portrait. So you're not gonna believe this. What is it? I managed to get you a portrait. Wait, seriously? Yep, Pistol the painter saw your photo and he thought you were the perfect muse. He said that about me? Sure did. Can I see the painting? Sure, I'll hang it up for you. Wow, it's great. Pistol is so talented. How much do I owe him? No charge, he's just glad to be free of the witch's cyberspace curse. I'm sorry, what? It's a whole thing, don't worry about it. The painting isn't cursed, is it? I don't think so. Well good, thanks so much for getting this portrait for me, detective. It was no problem at all. What can I give you for the trouble? Hmm, let me think. A ladder, please? Yes, thank you. <laughs> A whole ladder? That seems like quite big. Barely notice you're holding it, I promise. If you say so, thanks. It give the Haunted picture to this guy. There you go. So I took a look at all the photos in the saloon and I think this one is definitely a ghost. Oh really? How do you know? Bonnie helped me out by telling me the stories of all the photos. The rest of the fo fo photos seem pretty normal. But this one, this one is something else. I can just tell, the energy from this photo is very spooky and suspicious. I should have known right away, but I suppose I can only be so smart. I suppose that's true. Is it okay if I take a photocopy of this? That's fine. Hopefully this is enough proof for the Ghosts Bars League to finally let me in. If they don't, it's their loss. Thanks! Hey, can I give you something for your help? What do you have? A pickaxe. Oh, perfect. Why? Sorry. Why do you have a pickaxe? What's it to you? Can I can't I just carry around a pickaxe? Is there something wrong with that? No, I guess not. But usually when people give stuff to me, they have some reason for having it in the, in the first place. Do people give stuff to you often? Yeah, pretty often. Okay. Well, I don't really have an explanation for the pickaxe thing. Sorry. That's okay, I guess. Just one more mystery that will haunt me for the rest of my days. That seems really intense. It's just a pickaxe. For you, maybe. Whatever. Thanks for the pickaxe. You can give it to the miner. I just need to find the fake ID. What does she need to write a resume? Oh yeah, I have the pencil and paper. And everything is going perfectly now. I think we'll end it here now and next time maybe we can end it. I mean, we give the pickaxe to that guy. We go get the flowers to the stew. Get this guy the stew. Give this person the pen and paper to write a resume. Get a fake ID. Give the fake ID to her. To open the bank vault to have the clue. Go to the well. Climb down the ladder, see what clue we get from there. 
yeah, it's a good plan. But for now, we're gonna end it here. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.